Hi, and thank you for joining me on another Friday Upgrade, where we make small incremental changes to your own personal operating system. These are all based on concepts from my upcoming book, The Tech Executive Operating System. And today, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been hit by an initiative only to think, I wish they would have involved me sooner? You know, the CEO comes and tells you that you're going to need to make this or that change and you realize that actually it would have been better to start working on hiring the right people like three months ago or changing the entire new bunch of features you've made in the past quarter so that they would have supported this new shift onwards. That's the kind of stuff that is happening all over the place when you as the tech executive don't have enough uh, vision about what's coming, for, uh, what's coming to you in the future. You are basically so downstream in the stream of decisions, which is uh, a term I think I came up with, but you have the decision stream. And if you are downstream, if you are below, you are only an order taker. People come up to you with, here are the features we want, here's the roadmap, and you take their order, say, all right, would you like fries with that? And make sure that your team delivers. Now, having an engineering team that delivers on time is already quite good, all right? I'm not trying to, to say that's not very important or very easy to get. I'm not saying that at all. But still, that's like, you know, meets expectations. You have an engineering team that does what it said it would. You are merely taking an order and giving it back to them. You know, that's what everyone in McDonald's are doing. But to gain actual leverage in your role, you want to be slowly moving up that decision stream. And I call that moving upstream. Eventually, you want to go from the higher level, which is management. You have some understanding of what's com coming towards you. You want to go all the way to the top where you sit around the table where those critical decisions are being made. That's moving upstream. You are at the place where you are discussing strategy and vision and roadmap. And first of all, really by sitting at that table, you can then see what's coming ahead. You can be aware of the fact that the company might make this market shift in Q3 and you can already start laying the groundwork in your organization prior. Not just wait till the discussions about Q3 start around, you know, June and only then realize it's too late. That's first of all, you are merely aware of more things. But second, by being there, by moving upstream, suddenly you can influence what's going to get downstream. Maybe you can see that there's an opportunity here to do things even earlier if you change this project and that project's order and let your team do what they do best. Maybe you can see that actually that kind of thing, I think, will be irrelevant by, I don't know, September when Apple has a new iOS and would likely make this or that feature no longer relevant. So let's not even plan on that and let's find other things to do, things that are more worthwhile, that are going to provide your product and your users with more value. That kind of stuff. And you can only get that by moving upstream. In the book, I list out a bunch of tactics for doing that, for claiming your seat around the table. And I believe that that's the way for you personally, as a tech executive, to self-actualize to bring your best value to the company and to have the biggest impact you can in your role. So be sure to check it out. If you want to get the next installment of the Friday Upgrade, subscribe below to my newsletter where you're going to get an update every week along with exclusive insights. Thank you and see you again next week.